Well, let's shift our focus to Kaduna State, where the traditional and religious leaders from the Northwest have declared their support for the girl child education. Led by the Sultan of Sokoto, the conference aims to break down barriers that keep girls out of school. The Northwest region of Nigeria, traditional and religious leaders have come together in a strong push to improve access to education for girls. Leading this advocacy is the Sultan of Sokoto, who has emphasized that educating girls aligns with the teachings of Islam and warned against sermons that discourage it. Our presence shows the commitment that we have to educate our children, especially the girl child. An illiterate society is a very dangerous society to anybody. While an educated one, definitely we know, is an asset. If you are not educated, you can even worship Almighty Allah, who created you to worship Him. Such problems that we've been facing of insecurity, terrorism, banditry, kidnapping, and whatever, would have been things of the past. And I want to say on behalf of the entire Christian community in the Northwest, we are going to do all within our power, within our NGOs, within our arms, from our Sunday schools down to our schools to ensure that the issue of girl child education is at the front point. The Deputy Governor, Dr. Hadiza Balarabi, cited World Bank statistics showing Nigeria has up to 15 million out-of-school children. Insecurity in the Northwest has worsened the situation. To help, the World Bank's Agile program has expanded to 18 states, adding $700 million to aid out-of-school girls, including those who are married or disabled. We are aware that Nigeria's population is composed of about 49% females, and to ignore the educational needs of this segment of the population is to hold back on our progress as a nation. Education and skills are transformative tools essential for closing gender gaps. At the World Bank, is supporting Nigeria with $1.2 billion to keep girls in school and empower them with the necessary skills that will positively impact their lives. Leaders were urged to break cultural and economic barriers. The conference also addressed violence, poverty and traditions that block girls' education. Advocates hope it will ensure a future where all girls can succeed. Lupe Asom, TVC News, Kaduna.